What's up everybody? My name is Max Feinstein and I'm an anesthesiology resident at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. During medical school and residency, I've become passionate about doing research, particularly in the areas of anesthesiology, bioethics, and infectious diseases. I created this video series in order to help medical students and residents who are either thinking about getting started with research or would like to refine their approach to ongoing research. The topic of this video is why do research? Oftentimes, medical students and residents see research as a means to an end where it's something that they think that they have to do in order to apply for residency or apply to a fellowship because they think that that's what the program director is going to want to see. Um, so I just use this opportunity to caution you and say that not all program directors see it this way. In fact, the minority of program directors see it this way. Um, so I'm just going to pop up on the screen here the NRMP's residency director survey, which shows that this falls pretty low on the list of all of the elements of an application that are important to residency program directors when they're selecting applicants to interview. And the same thing also holds true in the survey for um, factors that program directors are thinking about when they're putting together their rank list after they've already interviewed candidates. Now, independent of any sort of external expectations about what any program director thinks that you ought to do in terms of research, probably the best motivating factor for doing research is it's something that you're personally interested in. And so there are a number of different reasons that could drive somebody to want to do research. And a couple that come to mind for me are going to be if there's a specific question that you want to answer and the way that you go about answering that is through research or if you'd like to become involved in the just wider academic community and discussions that take place in journals and discussions that take place at conferences and doing research is going to be one of the best ways to get involved with that community. So just to highlight that point with a personal anecdote, um, I'll talk about one of my new lines of research which is vaping and anesthesiology. So around the time that I saw that vaping associated lung injury was causing deaths in the United States, I had this thought, I wondered, is this something that anesthesiologists should be concerned about? And so before I endeavored on coming up with a research project to delve into that question, I wanted to sort of test the waters in the academic community and see if this is something that the wider uh, community of anesthesiologists at least would be interested in. So I just wrote a short correspondence, which is a letter that doesn't involve any original research, and I just posed the question, is vaping something that anesthesiologists should be worried about? And this correspondence ended up getting published in one of the anesthesia journals called Anesthesiology, and to me that was a signal that yes, this is something that more anesthesiologists may be interested in, and so for me that was the green light that I needed to go ahead and start coming up with designs for future research that's prospective, so right now I'm working on a survey study that looks into the topic a little bit more. Um, and pretty much all this to just say, you know, I had a question that came up about a new topic that was uh, relevant in the United States, and so I just wanted to try and get an answer to that question in the academic community and I got that answer and so now I'm going to be able to go ahead and move forward with that. So the last thought I'll leave you with is that research can take a very long time and for that reason it's vital that you pick out a topic that you're very interested in. So as days turn into weeks, turn into months, and in some cases even years, you're still interested in the topic so that can be your motivation for continuing to just grind it out until you've finished your uh, research and submitted it and hopefully gotten it published. So again, just a personal anecdote, I had taken a year off to do research between second and third year of medical school and I didn't finally get my main manuscript published published until I was an intern in residency. So all that to say, it can take a long time and just make sure you pick out something that you're really interested in. Well, that wraps up this video on why you should do research. Um, I'd love to get your feedback. So if you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. And then if you want to be notified anytime I upload a new video, go ahead and subscribe. So that's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.